The first resource pack is called Elegant Embellishment and it's a CIT pack that allows you to decorate a buildings with these cornerstones, window frames. So I think they look really gorgeous. I almost always use this kind of effect in 1.12.2 but it's just so satisfying that you can also have this kind of effect in the recent version of Minecraft pack. You're just using a texture pack so you don't need any mods. This is a CIT pack but you don't need Optifine for this to work. So you can get these models working with Sodium. You just have to install this fabric mod called CIT Rezone which I will put the link in the description. So this pack offers you two different models which are window frames. It's quite subtle but you can see there's like this black line and then also cornerstones like facing bricks like these like these ones so in order to bring these two models you can either get stone brick or block of iron and then you want to go to an anvil and then rename the stone brick into one of the names listed in the planet minecraft page of this pack i'm also using this mod called rp renames which is also an essential if you are too lazy to keep checking on cit packs catalogs here just click one of them so for example i want to bring out this model and all i have to do is just click i don't have to type i don't have to alt tab as you can see i already have the model right here so all i have to do is just to bring out an item frame and as you can see my item frame is also invisible i will put the link in the description as well for the invisible item frame resource pack and then all i have to do is just put the model onto an item frame and there you go you have this cornerstone so you can put the cornerstone like what i'm doing here at the corner of a building very aesthetically pleasing perfect for the classic builds so the next resource pack is simply called terrarium and it does what the title suggests bring 3d modeled terrariums into minecraft and this is another cit pack which does not require optifine so you can see i'm not using optifine i'm using sodium and it works i don't need optifine for these models so i've always liked terrarium and i'm quite lazy to do it myself in real life so the minecraft alternative should do it for me this pack adds a bunch of terrarium models of three dimensions of minecraft so for example over here we have the overworld classic nature a green terrarium and they are so well made and look at look at that look at, look at those details we have like this a venus fly trap they look like the real thing and you have different orientations as well we have the portrait and this one is a landscape each dimension has at least 10 different models and this one is supposed to be the nether the warp forest and then this is a crimson forest and uh yeah it looks really oh whoa eyeball plant and then what's this and then you also have this tiny terrarium which i think looks really cute and then yeah i think nether has like 15 different models which is insane and then this one is supposed to be the ender the end terrariums i love the colors so much to bring these models into your game so you can grab a glass bottle and then go to an anvil it's pretty simple all you have to do is just rename this to terrarium like terrarium 2 terrarium 4 terrarium 8 and if you want to bring out the nether version type nether terrarium 8 put it on the item frame and there you go you have this model into your world so the next resource pack is a painting pack called xksp alt painting so this pack simply replaces the vanilla painting into these stunning pixel art paintings i think they're giving me this terraria or stardew valley vibes while they still kind of maintain the vanilla minecraft look and look like they belong in vanilla minecraft here you have some kind of a swamp biome underwater and then here you have mountains and another mountain and then here you have a sandwich sandwich where here you have the nether and then look at this cute ghast and then you have the fallen kingdom i'm a big fan of pixel art myself and i really adore this work this is such a nice artwork so if you're bored of vanilla paintings but you don't want to change the overall aesthetics i think you can consider getting this painting pack because they look so much like a vanilla minecraft so the next resource pack is called frutiger so this is a cit pack that replaces the models of fruits and vegetables block and adds multiple different models for golden carrot melon and baked 
potato. So this is a CIT pack, which again, doesn't require Optifine. So we're gonna go through the whole catalog. So it changes the models of sweet berries. And then I think this one's apple, golden apple, enchanted golden apple, melon itself, sweet berries, and then coarse fruit, carrot, a beetroot, and potatoes. And then it also adds more models. For example, tomato, cucumber, onion, and then this one is a golden melon. I think this one's for Minecraft. And then potato chips, a bag of potato chips. Look at that, I'm holding the potato chips in my hand. A blueberries, cabbage, corn. So there's a lot of fruits and vegetables. For example, let's bring out a carrot and then go to an anvil right here. And as you can see, you have a list. So you can change it into an onion. So for example, I'm gonna put onion. And here you have an onion. As you can see, there you go, you have onion. So the next resource pack is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated furniture CIT packs. And it's called MCE Furniture. This resource, oh wait, oh my god. So this CIT pack features all of the essential furniture such as sofas, couches, lounge chairs, wooden chairs, armchairs. So it's a really extensive catalog. Also provides you with multiple different colors for each model. I think it works really well with Mizunos. Red, black, gray. So to add the colored furniture models into your game, you can use one of the colored wool blocks. So I'm gonna use red wool and then go to an anvil and then just rename into whatever furniture that you like. I'm gonna use lounge over here. Let's put an item frame over here for the lounge and there you go. For the other furniture models though, such as the wooden chairs and the wooden table, uh, you can use any wooden planks. For example, I'm gonna use a birch planks and then see you have a table or a chair. So for example, I'm gonna rename this into a chair and there you go, you have a chair. <laughs> now this is another spectacular one. This resource pack is pretty simple as it only adds five new models of wagon and a decorative wheel and an extra wheel but the details are mind-blowing so this pack is called the wagon decorations and it replaces the models of oak signs into five different models of wagon and an extra wheel since this is a cit pack again you can go grab oak sign all you have to do is just put an oak sign on an anvil and then see you have multiple different options for the wagon so here you have a wagon wheel which is the decorative wheel that i mentioned earlier and then here you have five different designs for the wagon so for example i'm gonna bring out wagon three so you rename the oak sign into wagon three put it on an item frame like this and then th there you go you have a wagon full of fruits and vegetables and it's super cute uh, the details are top-notch and I just love how this looks they made my game lag by the way and you have multiple different designs like fruit and vegetable wagon and then there's this bed wagon in which you can put a bed underneath so you can sleep on it empty wagon in which i think it lost the wheel so it's like being held by a stump like this and then this one is a stage coach so this is supposed to be like in the front this one is my favorite because you have like this animated fire there's also an animated water yeah i think this pack is superb because i've never seen anything like this this is such a nice pack so the next huge resource pack is called computer decor cit I know, another CIT pack, but trust me, none of the CIT packs that I covered require Optifine. So this is actually pretty massive, like the catalog is pretty massive. So this resource pack basically adds tons of different models of computer components. This pack is super retro. So you have multiple designs of PCs, including the ones with old tower computers like this. And then there are two different states. This one is turned on. You have the blinking light and then this one is turned off. You have this animated monitors. This one is playing Minesweeper and then there's like this baby dancing and then this error occurred and this is just an idle, very classic. Yeah, you have multiple different designs of PCs and the classic peripherals as well. You have keyboards, keyboards and mouse, not only that, if you're not really into retro stuff, 
stuff. This pack also provides you with RGB gaming PC. As you can see, it's animated. You have this RGB effect. It's yellow and right now it's pink, magenta, blue, cyan, yellow. It's it's amazing. And this one is the turn off state. There we go. This RGB keyboards and mouse is very gaming. You have different states of modern monitor as well. This one is watching Fallen Kingdom. And then this one is coding. And then someone died while playing Minecraft and what looks like in a base. So this person died in their base. Also have more decorations like a stack of floppy disks and then like a single floppy disk, three different colors. In order to bring these models into your world, you can go grab a stick. Yes, it only requires you a stick. Get a stick, go to an anvil, and then here you have a huge list of models. We have 36 pages. Why you might ask? It's because this pack provides you with different modes of each model. For example, I'm going to bring out one of the computer monitors. So for example, computer 4. 4 D. So computer 4 is the design and then D is the state. Computer 4 D is the one with uh, with the Fallen Kingdom. So I'm going to rename this to computer 4 D. See, it's the Fallen Kingdom uh, monitor. So there's another feature in which you can shift the model to whatever direction. So for example, we have computer 4D and then you can add letters like N for North, E for East, S for South, W for West. For example, I'm going to rename this to computer 4D West. So let's see what happens. I'm going to put another item frame and then take a look at that. So it's shifted to the left. You can see the shifting in action. So I think it's such a nice feature. I just wish that more CIT packs um, allow us to have this much customization. So that is why I think this resource pack is super fantastic. It just has loads of features. Let's go back to a more simpler packs. So this one is called Little Guitars and this pack adds models of guitars and other similar instruments into Minecraft. So this pack adds three new models and all you have to do is rename any X. So for example, I'm going to bring out a stone X. So this affects all kinds of X and then go to an anvil and then rename them into one of these three different options. So you can either turn this X into an acoustic guitar, rock guitar or guzzly. Let's go with acoustic guitar. I'm holding it like a weapon so so you can smack enemies with a guitar. You can put this on your off hand and look like you're holding the guitar so you can play it. <laughs> so I hope you're not sick of CIT packs because this is another huge one. So this pack is called Somi's Variable Hat which adds more than 40 different models of hats. There's so many of them. You have like this diving helmet. It looks really, I think my head is a bit too large for this. You have a crown and then this one is an elf hat and then the ho 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 and then the regular Santa hat. I think this one looks cute. I want to wear this. Look at this. Look at me. <laughs> this is so cute. Here we have a beekeepers and then reindeer. Oh, the guzzler. Oh, what's this? The guzzler helmet and the mushroom hat. This is like the cottagecore dream, the plague doctor and the propeller hat. I think some of them are animated as well. So I think they look so beautiful. You have a frog, sombrero, the straw hat. You can cosplay as Luffy. I mean, oh, I, <laughs> this is so tall. Look at this. This is absurdly tall. So in order to get these hats, into your world. Get a carved pumpkin, put it on an anvil. Whoa, what's this? Why are there so many question marks? Well, that's because this resource pack supports two languages, which are English and Russian, but we're gonna use English. I'm gonna change my hat into TV. Look at me, I'm wearing a TV. I think the models are super adorable. They're super vibrant and some of them are animated, which is like a huge plus highly adored this. This is such a nice 
pack. So the next resource pack is a super simple yet romantic one. So this resource pack is called Bouquets of Flowers and it changes the models of flowers. So this is not a CIT pack so this is very simple. I'm using Mizunos right now and it still works perfectly. So it changes the single flowers into bouquets of flowers. Look at this. Pink, Tulip, Oxide Daisy, Hornflower, Lily of the Valley, Wither Rose, Dandelion. Oh, a dandelion. I'm holding a bouquet of flowers. I think this resource pack is super sweet and cute and romantic as well. It's actually one of my favorites. It doesn't change too much. It's quite subtle. And yeah, it's an amazing pack. Last but not least, we got a game. Yes, that's right. This resource pack allows you to play a game of dominoes in Minecraft. What? A game? What do you mean game? So this CIT pack adds a bunch of models for iron ingot. It turns the iron ingot into all pieces of dominoes. Just like any other CIT packs, you can grab an iron ingot and put it on an anvil and then look at this by nine nine by eight all of the possible every single domino piece so basically you can play dominoes in minecraft I have the 6-3, so I don't know where to put this. Grab an item frame and just put it over here. I think it's supposed to be this, right? It's supposed to be... I think this is how you play it. I honestly don't know how to play dominoes. You can pretty much play dominoes with your friends in a server. You just gotta make sure that all of you has this pack installed in your game. It looks like a white chocolate. And I love white chocolate. It's so unique because you don't always have this kind of pack in Minecraft. So what do you think of these? resource packs which one is your favorite which ones are your favorite let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or recommendations there will be more lists because i have a lot of fun making this kind of videos minecraft community is so creative when it comes to making texture packs and as usual all the links will be in the description so you can download all of these packs for free if you watch until the end you are simply the best and yeah thank you so much for watching see ya bye 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 what did you did you see that this boat is cursed all right this is getting kind of spooky so bye bye see you see you bye bye bye